Okay, a little bit of a different video today. A while back, my stepdaughter asked me to build her a dollhouse, so we're going to be making a video on that. I found a design for one that looked okay on Pinterest. It didn't have any plans with it, but I had enough visually to go off of. I made this out of select pine. There's also some dowels that are poplar. I couldn't find any pine dowels, but the poplar ones look fine. Uh, for the back wall, I just used quarter inch Luan. Working with this 1x12 really, really made me want to go out and get a sliding miter saw. Cut all the major pieces first and then just sanded them down. I got a tape measure and a combo square and just kind of eyeballed out what I thought the window should look like. There are a couple divider pieces that separate rooms in the house. I had to trim them down to a thinner width. I used some wood filler on the whole project wherever there were gaps, then I just sanded it down later.
There's obviously a pitched roof on the house. I had to angle my table saw blade to make a few of the cuts. Rather than calculate angles for the last piece of the roof, I just laid it on top where it was going to sit and marked it off that way. And I transferred the angle over to the table saw. I cut a couple three quarter by three quarter inch blocks to help make the railing. I marked off where the dowels were gonna insert into the railings. I also marked these spots on the wall of the dollhouse. And then I just drilled the holes with either the drill press or a regular drill. I test fit the dowels into the railings and into the side of the dollhouse. Because I didn't have 100% consistency in the depth of the holes that I drilled, I had to trim down some of the railings a little bit, but it didn't take too long to compensate. Once I had a good test fit, I just put glue on everything, glued it together, and then I put some glue on the bottom of the railings and clamped them down to glue them to the dollhouse.
this was actually a little creepy. Once everything was together, I gave it one more good sanding. I was told to leave this unfinished because there were still decisions to be made about wallpaper and flooring and things of that nature. And at the very end, I got asked to put a window sill on this one window. So there you go. I had a little more fun making this project than I expected I would. There were a couple different things about it that made it interesting, and I learned something new, of course. Thanks again for watching my videos, everybody. Have a good day.